Hey, Shalom, Israel. Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, I want to give all honors and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rekah, Kodash. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, for bringing out the 100% truth and keeping it real. Salutations to the 144 hopeful elect of Israel who's pushing this word in all truth and sincerity. And the one third of Israel who believe in the word and follow the Lamb wherever we go. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom, y'all. So I want to I'll do a land back off of this brother's epistle, GMS Living Water. I'm going to put it in the comment on the, in the comment section, his video, the epistle. And it's called uh, Growing in Love and Unity. Yeah, that's right. Growing in Love and Unity. It's a beautiful epistle. Speaking about the spiritual gifts that the Lord Yahweh Shemashah has given to each each one of the brothers that's you know out here working, you know, for that penny, to edify the sheep, to uh, to compel them to come in, to condemn this wicked world, you know, to exhort one another, to comfort each other with these words, to wash and clean and baptize with these words of truth through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh Shemashah, you know, from the teachers of the apostles of the, and the, from the teachers of the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, you know, and. Uh, it reminded me of a and of an epistle I did a, a while back, entitled uh, I don't I can't remember the title. It's so long ago, but it's based off of the same thing. You know that we are one body. There's only one way, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and the Lord has ordained this understanding. You know, and uh, I wanted to play this clip right here. The easiest way to, to make content is to use an AI like creator like me. Here's how to do it. Uh, Just open up what, AI what Creator. With these damn <laughs> Anyway, I wanted to show this clip real quick of, uh, you know, like I, I like to use visuals, you know. Um, this is a clip of, and Lord willing, I won't get no copyright strike about it or anything like that. Now, I want to also show y'all, if y'all click this uh, button here on the right side of the screen, right bottom side of the screen, your, your video should, you know, uh, be bigger so you can see the full camera, I think. So you can see what I'm seeing. Is this thing recording, bro? I think that's the time up there on the, on the top left. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to play this little clip real quick. And it shows you uh, how as we are individuals, but we come together to be a part of the body of believers. And this is not for all, all men. It's only for those that are the Lord has called and chosen in these last days that can understand these words. Hear these words, repent, and be healed. And he's and we're gonna get the scripture to back it up. He's given us apostles, you know, to 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 guide us. He's he sent back Abba Bivens, you know, Elijah the prophet, to turn the hearts of the sons, and and that's why we entitled this epistle "Seeing is Believing," you know. And we're talking about seeing with the spiritual eye, you know. Uh, we'll just let the scriptures be for themselves. But I want to play this real clip. Lord willing, I won't get no damn copyright strike over this little shit right here. I can't hear it. I, I think I right here the man said I've never done anything now. worthy in my What's life, you know, worth of anything. So you know, you, you will I'm gonna, power. in other you words, make know. myself a sacrifice. Fulfill you know, your hopefully destiny. Y'all can. You know, that's what we're doing. We're not being called into this ministry to make ourselves Romans chapter twelve, making ourselves a living sacrifice for the better good, for the future, for the for the you know, for the body. For the kingdom of heaven, for your power, for the power of Hashem, for You know, we're giving ourselves, we're giving ourselves up, doing the sacrifice, doing everything we can to come together in unity, true unity. You know, the body of the believers, the body of the power of Hashem, you know. What? Um, Roll. Right, like the truth is, who's going to rise, and this, you know, so like you, you, you to take control of your future, who's going to rise up for me against the workers of iniquity? You know, who's going to... Yeah, we gotta. We maybe we might stand up for that. You know, stand. Uh, start with that epistle. And I got another. I got another little video clip. Real coming into this thing, seeing is believing because, uh, you know, in the world, we had, uh, we had, uh, you know, in this plantation Christianity, or any other, whatever you want, whatever you know, so-called religion that you were following. These false prophets out here. These false doctors out here. You would go and sit in front of one, one, one nigger. You know, and he he sprew all this madness to you, all this indoctrination to you, you know, that 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 doesn't edify, that's not of you, how about Shemasha? You know, the preacher that got the church, every now and then they might have a revival. Every now and then they might invite another pastor and you know, to come and say some, say a few words or whatever. But that that was not how about Shemasha because the words, the word made flesh right here, that's what we're talking about. And let the word speak. Jeremiah chapter three, verse fifteen. I will give you pastors. Is that singular? No, it's plural. 
you know, according to mine own heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Plain and simple. And I want, you know, I want you to keep that word, those words, you know, within your heart, of course, within your mind. The last part, most mostly, knowledge is going to feed you with knowledge and understanding. Okay? Knowledge and understanding. Keep that in mind because we're going to bring out the uh, the last trip we're going to get today is uh, Isaiah chapter 33 verse 16. Because it's going to come in handy in this time of Jacob's trouble. To have the true faith and the true understanding of Yahweh Shemashahin and his will and what's, what's about to happen. That's what, this, that's what these pastors are doing. I will give you pastors according to mine own heart which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding to say before. And I want to get that scripture that we just spoke about. You know, uh, who will rise up for me? KJV. Psalm chapter 94, verse 16. It says, who, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? You know? Right, and that's what the Lord's got us doing. Being holy and separate in these last days. Coming against everything. You know, uh, like the scripture speaks about. <clears throat> what's, that, what's that other scripture? Let me, let me see if I can get it real quick. Uh, how's it go? Condemning. Uh, breaking down these strongholds. Breaking down strongholds. And every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yahweh by Shemashai, bro. It says, uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. For the weapons of all warfare are not carnal. Exactly. Coming, coming back to the spiritual. Even though I'm showing you those video clips of, uh, you know, Optimus Prime being, uh, getting ready for, for war. This, this battle that we're fighting is a spiritual war. You know, first and foremost. Battle of the mind. Battle of this, this wicked... Uh, these wicked forces in, in, in high places around here. Uh, for the weapons of all warfare are not carnal, but mighty through through Yahweh Shemashah. You have to have the Spirit of the Lord, you know, for this battle. You know, this is not a carnal thing. Through Yahweh Shemashah to the pulling down of strongholds, all these lies, all these philosophies, all these false doctrines, all this plantation Christianity, even those of the circumcision, calling on Christ again, talking about the hell doctrine again, talking about uh, you can have sex on the Sabbath day again. No. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 5 casting down imaginations imaginations bro these vain things and every high thing that exalt itself against the knowledge of Yahweh by Hashem Yahshai and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai that's right man and you you know first and foremost you know contending with yourself you know with your wicked old mind the Lord say uh, you know your, your mind your own mind is deceitful above all who can know it so we have to come back as a newborn babe being you know being uh, grown up with the sincere milk you know uh, coming back forgetting all the things that we learned in this wicked world coming back as babies you know repenting with the whole heart learning the true names of the Lord all over again the 100% truth of the scriptures all over again and moving forward bro growing up you know Growing up, let's go. Let's go ahead and get it. We bring out this epistle so it'll be hot and heavy, bro. First Corinthians chapter 12. I want to start at verse 1 and I want to get this actually in the blue letter, okay? First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 1, and I want to get it in the NIV now about the gifts. And you know, the brother, like the brother, brought this out, and I was like, that's beautiful, man, because he brought it out in, in either the NIV or the NLT or some other translation. And you know, it prompted me to remember that epistle I did about the, you know, the uh, how we are coming together, you know, like to f <laughs> form to form the body as individuals scattered among all these nations, all one one brother all on the on the, in damn it, all way down in Australia somewhere, the other brother way up in Canada over here, another brother way in in Hawaii over there, you know. But we all come together with this 100% truth. We all come together with the mindset, having the mind of Yahweh Shemashah, having the same mind, you know, in the same spirit, bro. This, this is king. Seeing is believing, right? Now, of course, the scripture speaks about um, in the book of uh, faith, you know, seeing those things that are not seen because it, this is spiritual. It's not a carnal thing. So we don't need, you know, niggas marching up and down the street. That's carnal. We're talking about spiritual. You know what I'm talking about? 
Faith, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. But, but actually, through when you look at when you look at things through spiritual lenses, you actually see it, because you have the spirit of the Lord on you to actually be able to see, to be able to hear. So let's read it now about the gifts of spiritual. Silaki. Now about the gifts of the spirit, brothers and sisters, I would not want you to be uninformed. Okay, you know that when you were pagans, somehow or another. You were influenced and led astray to mute idols, right? When we were out there in the world, when we didn't know no better, at the time when the Lord winked at our ignorance, but now He's commanded all men everywhere to repent to the one hundred percent truth. We are the Israelites. That's what's going on right here. Can you see it, bro? Verse three. Therefore, I want you to know that no one who is speaking, no one who is speaking. By the spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah says, by the, by the what? By the spirit of Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh says, Yahweh Shah is cursed. And no one can say Yahweh Shah is Lord except by the Holy Spirit, right? And his name is Yahweh Shah, not no damn J JC. They're different. See, because you need the spirit to understand that. You need the, the gift of faith to really believe that, bro. And not just call his name in vain. No, we're talking about sincerity and truth over here. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 4. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same spirit, the same spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord, right? We all have different, you know, uh, in the morning, Yahweh Shemashai gives us his spirit of what he wants each brother to do for that day. You know, he's the one that directs our footsteps for the day. We pray for that, you know. And we, sometimes he have us bring out different epistles. Sometimes he bring us, have us all jump on the same uh, topic. You know, but it's the same Lord. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. You know, uh, He's got the apostles. You know, at a high at a high rank, He's got other brothers just brand new coming in, hold, just holding signs or whatever. You know, however it may go. You know, uh, He's got helps everything. There are different kind, and this is all. This all makes up the body, bro. There are different kinds of working, but in all of in all. But in all of them, and in everyone, it is the same God at work. Okay, there are different kinds of working, but in all of them, and in in everyone, it's the same God, Yahweh Shemashah, at work. Right, the Lord works. You know, we are those vessels. That's what you aspire to be. You want to just be a vessel to Yahweh Shemashah. You know, let me be a vessel, Yahweh Shemashah. Please use me. You know, to to Thy will be done. That's why, um, you know, the strippers piece about humbling yourself. That's why the strippers piece about not not serving your own belly, but to serve the Lord, um, not for vain glory or filthy lucre, bro. Okay, verse uh, verse seven. Now to each one of the manifestation of the Spirit is given to the common good. Right. It's, what's going on now it's, it's good for everyone it's good for the whole planet even the scripture speaks about that's why we brought out that epistle the other day you know we heal the world you know we, we, uh, they're going to call you the repair of the breach the scripture speaks about how the whole world waited for the manifestation of the sons of Yahweh Shemashah you know the trees the animals the other nations even alright now to each one the manifestation of the spirit is given for the common good and it's good for, of course, the Israelites first and foremost, because and it's the will of the Lord. First Corinthians chapter twelve verse eight: To one there is given, through the Spirit, a message of wisdom; to another, a message of knowledge by the means of the same Spirit; to another, faith by the same Spirit. And I believe that's my gift. You know, having real, man, solid, serious, solid faith, bro. To another, faith by the same Spirit; to another, gift gifts of healing by that one spirit to another miracles Salaki to another miraculous powers who miraculous powers bro we talking about them spiritual powers that's why the brothers you might hear the brothers all sometimes say you know uh, in the time of Jacob's trouble I hope to have a spiritual powers or at least be around a brother with spiritual powers you know what I'm talking about to another miraculous powers to another prophecy you're right, that's why you got some brothers, man, they can really go in and tear up a scripture. I mean, break it down to the last compound. 
to another prophecy to say before to another distinguishing between spirits there's some brothers you know you know that you you can actually discern you look at a motherfucker you know you can judge your spirit right off the bat be like you's a you's a wicked ass nigga and you know, of course we got them two third jakes out there that's just fucking gone but then you got them snake in the grass motherfuckers too like bishop nate you know like sakari you know alazar and all these motherfuckers you look at them and be like you know they come out with them sweet words and you know after a while you know to another speaking in a different kind of tongues there's brothers uh chosen eglios you know that that actually brings out uh his epistles he was speaking english and then speaking the spanish you know different kinds of tongues not 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 that goddamn shamalama lama 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 no shit no tongues means simply means another language it says and to still another the imp interpretation of tongues right to be able to understand and these are the work it's like all these are the work of one and the same spirit and he distrib distributes them to each one just as he determines right so all of these spiritual gifts that the Lord is blessed with the um, elders apostle great millstone and all the brothers on down their umbrella being one body having the same mind being on one accord you know is of the spirit of Yahweh Shemashai, bro. Okay? Let's see. Let's keep on going. Ephesians. You know y'all love this scripture right here. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body in Yahweh Shai, till we all, till we all, the whole body, all the, the body of believers, come to the unity, true unity, true understanding of Yahweh Shemashah, that perfecting, having that perfect understanding in your mind of the faith, knowing the will of the Lord is, knowing what's going to happen to this time of Jacob's trouble, knowing about the, the we being changed, you know, knowing about the go, entering into the second covenant, understanding who Esau is, the Caucasian race, the devil that the Bible speaks of, understanding who these two-thirds are, bro, and what's going to happen to them, these other nations, World War Three, understanding the... Uh, <clears throat> The implementation of the MARK, the CHIP, understanding what's going to happen during the famine of food, the famine of the word, you know, prophecy, simply prophecy, understanding these concentration camps, what's going to happen, the beheadings, to prepare your hearts and minds for this time. Going back to the one of the first scriptures we read, Jeremiah 315, wisdom and knowledge are going to feed you with this wisdom and this knowledge until we all come to the unity of the faith. And of the knowledge of the son of Yahweh Shemashah unto a perfect man, again, having that perfect understanding, having the mind of Yahweh Shemashah unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of Yahweh Shai. He is the word made flesh. Seeing is believing, bro. Can you see this? Can you believe this? Right? I want to go back. And he gave some apostles. I want to reiterate this. Because... You're not looking at one guy. And like the elder Apostle Gabar say, you know, like uh, Bishop Nate with the occulted personality. And he dictates to uh, everybody under him, under the, in, in the IUIC, what the doc, you know, what, you know, hey, say this. The, you know, like the elder Apostle Dahar say, they get a precept package. No, no. This is the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Hashem moving. Even the elders say, uh, some of the brothers that have come under them, you know, and he 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 make he points it out about uh, the brothers from Dallas. He said, "I never taught them that," but you know, the, after a while, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shai, he said, "I'm gonna come and sup with you. the The Holy Spirit of Truth will guide you into all things, bro. You know, after a while, the Lord will take over and give the increase. You know, that's what's going on with the body of believers, with the with the uh, with this, because it's the word, it's prophecy being fulfilled. Seeing is believing." We've seen it. Do you see it? And he gave some apostles and some prophets. And it's, it's all about being in order, you know. It strips and speaks about the greater thou art, the greater thou art, humble thyself. You don't, you know, just because the Lord is dealing with you, jump up. I'm the man now. Elder Apostle Tahar, y'all need to sit down. That's what Al that's what Alizar said. Y'all too old. Let me take over. You know, no. Pride go up before destruction, bro. Okay. 
And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. Okay, it's a body. For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Yahweh Shai. And you know what? I want to play that video clip again, bro. Yes, I do, because I like it. I'm going to play this one right here. I'm going to start so get, it, get it right here at uh, around 44, 44 seconds. I hope you all can see it. And look, I'm going to never put these in the comments. Right? You say, I'm not worried. I've never done anything this, worthy in my life. Take my promise, but at least I can you will have a power you've never known. You're out there fulfill going off. Fulfill your call. destiny. You didn't know me better. 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 shows you know the strips have been fulfilled you know if if their right hand offend you cut it off if parts of the body start to go off and start to act all crazy you know if a brother start to act all you know coming out with false doctrine or something you got to cut them off you know a little leaven left that leaven up the whole lump see see now we're getting a full understanding of this word of truth and seeing is believing this is the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 14 how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed hold on um, the point is in 14. Yeah. How then shall they call unto him in whom they have not believed? It's all about building up our faith in the 100% truth of Yahweh Shah, the word made flesh. You know? But if you got, once again, seeing is believing. It's a body. It's prophets according to the Lord's own heart. Prophets. Pastors. You know? With an S. How shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? You know, to, to, to give you this belief, to give you this, you know, faith coming by hearing. And how shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Right? And how shall they, they, what, how does it say? Plural, again, they, pastors, preach, except, the, except they, once again, they be sent. The, the body. The 144 hopeful elect brothers and sisters. That's what you see right now. Bringing out this word of truth. This gospel shall be preached on the four corners of the earth. Then shall the end come. Okay. And how. As it is written. How beautiful are the feet of them. That preach the gospel of peace. And bring glad tidings of good things. We're not just. Uh, not just. Uh, the, the occulted personalities. Not just. Alize. Alizar. Whatever his name is. And Hassad and uh, what's the other guy? Um, this other guy, this uh, 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 Deacon 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 Destruction Mode, or the damn name is. I don't know these damn people, but you know the different with Great Millstone. All the brothers have a page. All the brothers are bringing out this hundred percent truth, doing their which is their reasonable service. They, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, "Lord, who have believed our report? Who have who have believed what our report? So then, faith coming by hearing, and hearing by the word of Yahweh Shemashai, bro. That's right. The Lord's giving men spiritual gifts. You know, He's giving some uh, one brother over here might bring it out hot and heavy, rough as hell. You know, you know, you'd be like, yeah, brother, I can dig that. I, I can understand what you're talking about, man. You're talking my language." Another brother might come out kind of soft. Some people like, why y'all cursing so much? You know? But you, well, the Lord, I got a brother over here that don't curse at all. You know? This is the book of John, chapter 17, verse 20. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also that shall believe on me through what? Their word. Not just one, one nigga up there with plantation Christianity, the potter house. You know, mom and pop church on the corner. No, this is the great awakening right here, bro. We are the Israelites, not vocab alone. You know, one nigga or three or four motherfuckers. <laughs> no, bro, this is it. Sin is believing, okay? Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also that shall, which shall believe on me 
through their word. All we're trying to do is get you to believe in the one true living God, Yahweh Shai, bro. Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. First Peter chapter one, verse eight. Whom having let, hold on, let me let me see something. I want to get this in the in the I want to get this on the in the thing on the Bible here. First Peter. Because I don't want to miss anything on this one right here. First Peter one and eight. I'm going to jump in right. See, that's why I want to do that. Now. Jump in here, 1 and 3. Blessed be the, the God and Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Once again, cutting down that uh, Bishop Nate false doctrine that he brought out the other day, talking about the Son and the Father of one. That plantation Christianity doctrine about the Trinity, which according to his abundant mercy have begotten us again, us again, unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of Yahweh through faith unto salvation ready to be revealed in the last time and that's the spirit because we we brought this scripture out at the live camp the other night wherein ye greatly rejoiced through though now for a season if need be ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations that the trial of your faith uh, being much more precious than fine than gold and that perisheth Though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai. And here's the point right here in verse 8. In whom having not seen, ye love. Well, how, 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 how's that possible? Because you're getting to know Yahweh Shema Shai. The word made flesh through the teaching of the, of the, for, for, the, to the, for the teaching of this gospel, this good news. In whom having not seen, ye love. Right, we just read it in the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 14. How then shall they believe in him in whom they have not heard? Because now you're hearing all about the wonderful works of Yahweh Shemashah and his plan for us, the kingdom of heaven being established, our enemies being taken down, you know, whom having not seen, ye love, and whom though now ye see him not yet believing, ye rejoice with your with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Of which salvation the prophets, plural, have inquired and searched diligently, whom prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. Okay? And we're going to leave it right there. And we're going to, uh, what else we got here? Hold on. Okay. We got John chapter 20, verse 29. Yahweh shall say unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou has believed blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed because once again you have a said I'm gonna give you passes according to mine own heart that's gonna feed you with knowledge and understanding right you're gonna hear a word behind you let, let me get this real quick uh, your teachers shall not be removed into a corner anymore Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, okay, and a water of affliction, right, we, we're going to catch in hell. We're in the valley of the shadow of death. We're in the hands of our enemies. But this great awakening has happened. Sin is believing. We are the Israelites. Yet shall not, yet shall not thy teachers, plural, not just one potter's house, not just one Creflo dollar, not just one Motherfucking, what's his other name? Uh, Orstein, Joel Orstein, with this prosperity doctrine on all this uh, motivational speaking and shit. No, we're talking about the 100% truth. We're talking about the gospel. We're talking about the good news. We're talking about the kingdom of heaven is at hand, bro. Shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy what? Teachers, plural, bro. All praises to you, Habashim Hashem. Okay, check it out. They're here to instruct. They're here to guide you. They're here to warn you. They're here to correct you. They're here to rebuke your ass. And thine eye shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way. You know, they're that light. You know, ye are the light of the world. Walk ye in it. This is the way. Walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left, you know. You know, come on, y'all. And we're going to close it out with... Um, I want to get that one more time. John chapter 20, verse 29. Yahweh Shah said unto Thomas, Because thou hast seen me. Because don't forget that falling away had to come, bro. 
we fell away from our heritage. You know, this good news has to be preached. Uh, we had to go through that, you know, this uh, last captivity, the time, you know, transatlantic sl slave trade. Um, and this gospel, Yahweh Shah said, you're going to prophesy again. You know, you're going to receive power and prophesy again at the end of the world. That's what's going on right now. This is very spiritual. Seeing is believing. We are the Israelites. We're waking up in the last days. Yahweh Shah said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. And we're gonna we're gonna close it out with Isaiah. Lord willing, this was edifying in his only chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Where do you get this wisdom and knowledge from? From the mouth of the prophets, bro. From the words of Yahweh Shemashah. And I will give you passes according to mine own heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So when all this hell, when all hell break loose, the Lord is prepping us right now for this great and terrible day. Who's going to be able to stand? Okay? So, Lord willing, brothers and sisters, just edifying and exhorting. Don't forget, I'm going to put these, these uh, epistles, uh, uh, this brother's epistle right here, Growing in Love and Unity. From GMS Living Water, that you know, this land we land back off of that, and also you know, off of the previous uh, epistles that we did a, a, a years ago, you know, using these videos right here about the body of believers coming back together in unity, having the same mind, being on accord with Yahweh Shemashah, and the Lord giving us the increase to grow, you know, in strength and love. Hey, it's 1144. All praises to Yahweh Shemashah. That's the spirit right there, bro. All praises to Yahweh Shemashah. Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom.